everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to this second part of the uh, of my build guide to the SFX 100 motion platform. Uh, so uh, had a good response to the first video that I posted yesterday. Uh, so thanks for that. Thanks for everyone who's subscribed and liked the video and shared it on social media. That's uh, that's great. Um, and I had a bit of a treat waiting for me when I got home last night because the FedEx delivery man had been and um, to my surprise delivered the motors and drives um, and one other small part that came from China. So that was a little bit ahead of schedule. I was expecting that um, probably sometime during next week. Uh, and good of FedEx to deliver it before it even paid customs charges, which, um, which again surprised me. So this morning I've had a look at what it takes to wire wire this thing up and um, it seems like it's the thing that worries people the most and it was something that I was worried a little bit about because uh, although I've done quite a lot of wiring of workshops and things like that I've always had um, people to ask and I'm not an electrician by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but in the instructions, there's a link to the uh, English map version of the manual for this drive uh, that's got this wiring diagram in it. And um, at first you look at it and you think, oh, not 100% sure what all that means. Um, but in your kit of bits that you get, you get these wires that are already pre-made up and they come labelled U, W and V and Earth and on the drive itself just like on the instructions I don't know whether you can see it on the bottom here bring it closer U, V and W so that's quite clear that, that those wires have to go there and you've got this little ground symbol here for Earth. Um, and it seemed obvious that these were the Earths, although I did sort of check and read through and make sure that I wasn't missing something um, because they're not labelled themselves directly. But that is the Earth. And then that left me with the question. It's a single or three phase 220 volt input, L1, L2 and L3. Well, I recognise L1, L2 and L3 as the three phases you get in three phase electrical like stuff. Um, what I couldn't un figure out is what I'm going to do with my live and my neutral from a single phase input. Um, and after a bit of research, I came across uh, a YouTube video of a guy playing with his drive and I've copied his wiring and I've updated this drawing, uh, updated this diagram to this. So we now have L1 as live, L2 as neutral and obviously earth at the bottom. So, oh, I'll introduce you to the motor as well while I've got it. Nice little mo servo motor, connectors, and the wires that come in the kit have the corresponding connectors. So actually the worrying part of the job actually looks like it might not be too difficult after all. So I'm gonna have a bit of a play at powering this up and showing you how to set the drive to the configuration settings that's in the manual and have a play with it and see if the motor turns and whatnot and then we can put that to one side for a little while knowing that we've although we can't finish wiring all four up um, right at this moment uh, at least we know what the wiring is for that and actually wiring up all four together should be relatively straightforward so what I'm going to do is I found a kettle lead laying around 
I'm going to lock the end off of it. I think I've already had the fuse out of it, so I'm going to find a fuse to replace it. Um, wire this up. Pray to the Almighty that I've got it right and don't electrocute myself. Um, and then have a play and see if I can get this motor turning. Okay, so on the wires that come with the cables in the kit, they've got these nice spade connectors on that slot in under these screws. Well, for the time being, I haven't got any of those. Um, and I'm not sure they're the greatest thing to use with uh, like mains power anyway, but so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run a bit of solder down these first just to stop these fraying and clamp them in and then look and see if I can get some spade connectors another time or see if there's a um, better solution. So for the time being, I'm just gonna run some solder down this. Okay, so there are the wires that I've just put some solder on the ends to stop them fraying. So, if my research is correct, L1 should be live, brown wire for us in the UK. L2, blue. Earth on the side, and on the motor cable, Earth. So brown is U, goes into the connector mark U. Blue is labelled V, and again goes in where labelled V. And W, likewise, the last one at the bottom. Okay, so in theory, 
So that's got that wired up. So I'm going to on the other side of things, small into its matching port. So I believe that's ready to connect. Okay, well the motor drives lit up. Got a zero on it. Not sure what that means at the moment. So I'm going to come revert to looking at the manual and deciding how next we go about selecting the right mode to test the motor. Okay, so I uh, found something online which I'll probably put a link to just in case it helps you. Basically, so when you turn it on. you get a zero on the display. Press set. Until something else comes up on the display. Press the mod button until you get the FN. the up arrow until you get FN002, press and hold set, release, and it comes up as jog, set and hold, now hopefully if I press the up or the down arrow, this motor should twist. Hopefully you can see that. So there we go. It's working. Working to this point anyway. It's pretty exciting. It was a lot more straightforward than I thought it was going to be. Um, tomorrow I'll have a electrical cabinet that will fit all these um, drives in neat and tidy. Um, so when I do the next video of putting all these together and wiring them all in properly, I'll uh, make sure I um, put a link to that cabinet because it's pretty nice. It was 74 quid, but um, it's a nice way to hold all of this and keep it neat. Uh, but until the next video, I think I need a couple more bits. I need to pick up some 3D printed stuff from uh, the guy who's printing them for me uh, before I can do anything else. Uh, but I think that's a big step forward. That's one of the uh, problematic areas that I, th that I feel like I'm really on top of now. Okay, so once again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please like it, share it to the community and um, subscribe to the channel because I'll be doing more of these videos um, building up these actuators um, and then testing out the sim which will be quite interesting so um, until then thanks for watching bye